So it's my pleasure to talk about Mobius at sessions like this and also directly with our customers about how Mobius is used and talk with them about how they are using Mobius and the value that they get out of the platform. So a little bit about who we at Digital Ed are. We provide Mobius, the platform, to around three to over 300 schools with over 17 million, uh, around 17 million automatically graded assignments each year. Some of our big customers in the UK include the University of Birmingham, Imperial College London, Manchester University, uh, Harriet Watt and Glasgow Caledonian University as well, uh, a large number of universities throughout the UK and worldwide as well. Mobius hopes to improve the way in which maths, maths and STEM courses can be taught online. So we have a world-class maths engine at our kernel, that is Maple, and we use this to, and we leverage this to improve the maths experience with things like open response types, unit, unit and uh, response equivalents, and also allows for more meaningful and immediate feedback. Also allows for questions to be randomized in a very sophisticated way so that you can have one question that's regenerated multiple times. There's the, poss the possibility of creating visualizations, 3D plots, 2D plots, and going beyond simple question types like multiple choice or a very basic uh, closed response. So Mobius can also be seamlessly integrated into your existing LMS or uh, VLE. So you could uh, integrate with Moodle or Blackboard and or canvas and have it that students just click a link with no real authentication and get taken through to the platform so that's everything about what i wanted to talk about with mobius except for the one point and that is that it comes bundled with content so we have a large number of content packs that you can see listed on the right there and those are all bundled with mobius ready to go but they come with full editing privileges as well so you could take say our calculus for science pack and you can edit that, just take the questions out of it that are particularly interesting or the, or the concepts or topics. Uh, I've actually used those uh, when, in my course when I was struggling with some of the concepts behind machine learning, which is very much linear algebra and matrix operation focused. Uh, I took a look at the content packs and they really helped. So th this is something that we are working on expanding as well. So that uh, we're hoping that as you get Mobius, there'll be more content ready to go that will help you get started and get a course deployed. So today we want to really focus on the way in which Mobius can expand the ways maths and mathematics is taught online. This slide kind of breaks down some of that. So we talk about the question types that can be deployed in Mobius on the left and the general mathematical functionality that's throughout Mobius on the right. So that's things like mathematical equivalents, randomization, interactive plots, things like that. So I think the first one that I really wanted to talk about was this idea of randomization. So this is something that is really, really important in Mobius and the weight and the value which our customers get out of it. Because with randomization, you really only, you can make one question with parameters that are then regenerated each time the question is run. So if we keep an eye on the value, so the, the mass of the object and also the angle of inclination, when I press try another, we can see that those are changing each time. So this as a student allows me to keep practicing this question until I'm happy with it and ready to move on. So I can pop, so I'll pop a correct answer in there, we'll pop a wrong answer in there, and we'll press how did I do? So we can see the, the 85 is still being graded correctly because there's a margin for error put into it. So we can see that it's given us plus or minus four and a half percent. That's something that you, the teacher, has authority over. So you could choose not to have that if you wanted to as well. And if we look at the feedback, we can see, as we mentioned, that is meaningful. We've got the strategy, the way in which you would go about solving the question and a walkthrough solution. And we can see the values of that solution obviously reflect the randomization that we saw in this question. So another one I wanted to talk about was unit equivalence. So we can see that this is explicitly given in this question in terms of it, the cost, the response needs to be in kilograms and in meters per second, but we can also give freedom with this. So if we go into the this next question, this is going to give an example. So we've got this nice question about the, uh, the velocity and orbital dynamics, very cool. And it's saying, asking what the velocity of parity would be. So once again, 
just for the sake of brevity, we've got the answers here for us. So what if I put in 17,000 meters per second rather than 17 kilometers per second? And well, just demonstrated that when you press try another, it regenerates a question. So we could do 18,000 meters per second there. And I'll press how did I do? And we can see that's graded correctly because that is an equivalent response. If a, and once again, we've got the nice feedback throughout. I can press the units help here to get a sense of all of the units that are accepted by Mobius and how to input those in order to be uh, gain confidence that my response will be graded correctly. So there's a few different ways in which the, the units part can help, but we're going to move on from that and we're going to talk about open questions, which is something a really kind of exciting thing that you can do with Mobius. So with open response questions, the idea is that we want to test the student's understanding of the mathematical concept rather than their ability to just kind of follow the process through or, or just identify the response the correct answer from a list of possible ones in the case of multiple choice. So if we look at some of here, some of the answers here, we see give me a list of five numbers whose median is six. So a very, very open question there. So as we talked seen with the possible answers, we could just do four, five, six, seven, eight, Ooh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get rid of that first comma, press how did I do? We can see that's graded correctly. But I could do, I could make that 101, I could make that 180, I could go for, do, yeah, I could press how to do on that. Mm. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We can press how to do on that, and we can see that's graded correctly as well. Another example here, provide an equation of any line that passes through the point 5, 10. So we could just have the plot of x equals five. Press how did I do on that? See, that's graded correctly. What's nice about this question is it's also got randomized randomization. So it's a randomized open question. We randomly generate the point that the, that the function would uh, pass through. Once again, another one, input in quadratic form. So there's a, a, a variety of different ways that could be approached mathematical equivalence so that this one is demonstrated better in the slides here so if i jump into so this is a really really important point so this is that that question that we saw earlier with different randomization but we can see that regardless of the form that we give the response in the mark the it's still graded as correct. This is something that you the teacher have freedom over based on the response type that you set for the student they will, there will be different levels of equivalence allowed. So it might be that you want a more closed specific solution and that's also possible. So these are just a few of the ways in which Mobius is aiming to kind of help with mathematical concepts. We can take a look at one other point, which is a lot of these are also now just available to you through this, con this open content that I've been talking about. Not just the content packs, but also new this year, is this idea of uh, content templates. So for any Mobius customer, they will then now see the content templates listed as a source. And those include under the question templates, some of those open-ended questions. So we can see that we've got uh, around a dozen of those. So this is quite a nice one. Give me an example of an invertible matrix. So it can be a very, very open question. I could even see, get a hint here to see that to get an idea that, oh, if the determinant, that means it's uh, not zero. So this is an example of it. And then with the idea of the open-ended questions, I could say, well, I quite like this one. So what I'll do is I'll clone that into my class or I'll clone the whole group. And once that's done, I could then look in at the open-ended questions and I can go into the back end of these and see how they work. So these open-ended questions are ones that are, kind of take a little bit longer to put together, but you can then go into this, you can see, oh, that's actually some very simple grading code here. It's just evaluate, make sure the determinant is not zero. So this is what's really nice about using Maple and Mobius for grading logic, is that a lot of the time you don't need a huge amount to be able to do it. You just need to kind of think, of, think about it mathematically. 
So that's everything I wanted to cover today. Hope this has been informative for you and I'll uh, be happy to take some questions. Alrighty.